What's up guys, it's me JT from The College Christian and today this video is about my marijuana addiction story and how I overcame it. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Coke break, thanks Coke, please sponsor me. Marijuana, cannabis, THC, pot, weed, there's tons of names for it, tons. And the reason why I made this video today is because I saw that one of you guys had mentioned me on my Snapchat, um, it'll be right here right in the middle of the screen if you want to follow it um, but he really damned me said hey that video you put up the other day about depression and anxiety um, and the things you've gone through and you know telling me that I'm perfect really helped me out in my journey he said he pretty much felt broken and torn down and he mentioned that um, you know he smoked a lot of pot right now and he wanted to get over it and didn't know how if you ask yourself this question um, why can't I quit smoking marijuana or why am I smoking marijuana then this video is for you because I want to make this to help you out and that's the goal of the channel is to help kids and adults like you out. I started smoking marijuana when I was I believe 14 or 13 years old and I'm 21 now and I quit when I was 20 so I was smoking for a solid six seven years. Um, I would smoke it you know beginning bi-weekly and then there's this one point in my life where I would smoke three four times a day where I just could not not be high like that was the only thing I knew was being high. I didn't know, you know, how to relieve my stress, so I just said, all right, my friend offered me some pot one day, and, you know, we hotboxed her car with my twin sister, and we smoked. <coughs> Dab on him. No pun intended. It really grew into being a bad habit, and so when I was 15, uh, 16, and 17 those years, I would, uh, there was times when I would smoke every single day, every single day. Um, with my sister, we would go out every night. We'd be like ready to toke up, and we, you know, we go out and we toke up. It was very, very unhealthy. And actually, I remember this one time where my parents caught me smoking, and they took me right. So they they found where I was. My I was sitting at home, you know, passed out because I had smoked too much. My sister was downstairs, uh, just watching some TV, and you know, my sister was a very mouthed off kid and very rebellious, and she still is today. So she was very vocal about her marijuana. So. Um, my mom didn't know we were we had, we had ever smoked. My mom walks in. She goes, "Hi, how you doing?" And I guess my my sister went, "I'm going pretty good." You know, she was so high out of her mind. My mom's like, "Re smoking pot?" And my sister was like, "Yeah, I was." And then I just remember being woken up and taken to this person's house down the street with us, uh, where we would smoke all the time and we would smoke with each other. And uh, we ended up getting taken to that house, and <laughs> my mom was like, I'm going to call the cops on you, and just really intimidated her and tried to scar her. If you're a parent watching this, don't ever embarrass your kids like that. That only is going to draw, you know, a further line in the sand, and that's not okay. <laughs> you should never want to embarrass your kids, especially about pot addiction. Moving on, I ended up, uh, my senior year, I was smoking all the time. I cannot tell you how many times I smoked. Me and my friend Sean, all we would do was we would smoke, 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 smoke. He would come down, he would, he would be across the street, he lived, you know, uh, two streets down, so we would just walk over, be like, ready to load up, and every day we'd invite, you know, five, six, seven people over. And there's this time during the summer where we had that literally every single day. It was just a smoke-up party with seven, eight people, and it was very, very fun. I'm not going to deny that, you know, what I did was very, wasn't fun because it really was fun. I got to know a lot of people, and I felt really complete because I didn't have friends at that time in my life so for them to come over and you know me give them pot and they just hang out with me was just really nice and I'd come to find out I was used by it but that's okay because I needed friends I had no friends gosh you're gonna look at this video and be like wow this dude had no friends <laughs> one of my friends wasn't alive isn't alive today because he overdosed on heroin and I firmly believe that us smoking marijuana together led her as a gateway drug to heroin and she died recently so if you're there I miss you, Kesley. Um, I hope you're doing well, and I hope you're in heaven. <clears throat> it was really a tough time for me. I didn't know what I was going to be doing with my life. I didn't know anything. I was going off to college next year, so next, so you know that was great. I was going to be all alone, and I didn't have anything planned, no nothing. I was just a lonely kid with no friends who was bullied on every single day. Marijuana was my only way out. It was my coping mechanism because, like I said. I didn't play games at that time. I couldn't go exercise because I didn't exercise at that time. I wasn't driving until I was 18 and I didn't want to ask my parents every time I wanted to drive. I would browse YouTube every day and just smoke some pot. That was that was my life for a lot of years. And if you're watching this and you feel the exact same way, I know how you feel. I do because I was there and 
I, I went through the motions. I, I had to break my addiction and it was horrible. It really was horrible. I didn't I didn't like what I had to do. And so if you're listening, I, I really, you know, feel you. I feel where you're coming from and I hope that what I'm gonna about to say in the later part of this video, so keep watching, is going to help you. I started I started college and this is where I started making music and I started getting into that scene. But um, I stopped smoking pot. And, but instead of smoking pot, I just drank and drank and drank and drank and drank. Seriously, I blew, I think, like three or four grand on alcohol in six months. And if you guys want to do the math, that's like four to five bottles a week, and I would be drinking. So it was not healthy at all. And I touched on it in my last video, but some things happened, and I ended up leaving. This is where I got back into marijuana, even heavier, heavier than ever, ever before. I would buy, you know, ounces a month, so much and I would just smoke it with me. And I remember, you know, sitting there smoking up, not knowing what I was going to do with my life. I would just sit, listen to music, and I would drive high. I would go to school high. I would be high and drive. I would go to work high. I would do so, I would do everything high. Like, that was my life. I didn't know how to not be happy. Because the things that I experienced in college really impacted me so deeply that marijuana was the only way I could make sense of it all. And I could feel that same feeling of me being a kid again. There was one day where... I just fell to pieces. I just didn't know what to do. Like, would I, do I really want to just keep smoking pot the rest of my life? I was blowing, not even half, like three-fourths of my paycheck on weed a month. Everybody says that marijuana help, helps you get over depression or anxiety, but for me, it gave me those. It gave me depression. It made me so depressed because when I wasn't on marijuana, I would just feel out of it. I would feel not complete because marijuana is such an integral part of my life. I literally was, I wanted a girlfriend at that time, and I literally, you know, told the girl I was talking to, if you don't smoke pot, I'm not dating you. And, that, like, I was judging this girl based off of me smoking pot, and because I was so addicted to it, I expected her to be just as addicted to it. And that was not okay. It was, seriously, it was not okay. And if you're seeing this, I won't say your name, but you know who you are. I'm sorry. I wasn't, a, I wasn't a Christian until I broke that marijuana. I was always a Christian, but I wasn't a true Christian. I wasn't, I wasn't a child of God. I wasn't obeying what God said. I was doing me and saying, yeah, I'm a Christian. I believe in God, but that was it. That was it. That's all I had. I didn't know what else there was. I didn't know what to do, anything. And the church I was going through didn't help. I uh, took a leap of faith after I got out of Fiji and started joining a new church. And if you guys want to hear the story of me joining a new church, it's actually really, really funny. So I would encourage you to, I would encourage you to let me know below. I went to this new church in Tempe. Uh, about 45 minutes from where I live, so every every Sunday, now two to three times a week, I'm driving 45 minutes to go see this church and to go be a part of it and to minister and help kids along. I'm actually have to head to a connect group. Actually, I have to help some kids in about 30 minutes, so we'll get the video done before then, easy. And I asked them, what do they say? What does the Bible say about marijuana? They say it's bad. I said, all right, sweet. I'm gonna give it up. And I went cold turkey. Went cold turkey. But it was so hard, and there was times when I relapsed, but I just had to find my anchor. And if you're watching this and you want to break your, your marijuana addiction, I really want you to figure out your anchor. Because that's, that's, you know, your why is always the most important part. For example, why you're a Christian. Why do you want to quit smoking pot? Why do you want to go to this college? Why do you want to be who you are? Why are you, you? These are all questions that I'll start with why. And you need to figure out your why of not smoking marijuana. Why do you not want to smoke? There's tons of reason for you to quit smoking, and you need to find your why. And the deeper the reason is, the deeper it is going to help you. And the deeper and the easier it is, it's going to be for you to get over it. Don't think of, you know, you're, don't think of, all right, I want to smoke this marijuana. Think, why am I smoking? I was smoking because I wanted to get closer to God. I was smoking because it made me depressed. I was smoking because I was in such a bad place that I knew what I was doing before wasn't working. That was my why. You know, if I do what I've always done, I'll get what I've always gotten. I've constantly been smoking smoking pot, and that didn't help me. So, maybe me not smoking pot would be good for me, and it is. And I won't ever touch it again. But that was my why. And the second part of this is, if you were going to overcome it, I would definitely fast. And I'm, I used to be super skeptical of fast, like really skeptical. I did not see the point of fasting. I really, I did not see the point. I used to think fasting was stupid to think, why would I starve my body to get over something, right? I can just get over it by myself with my mind. But there is something that really, really happens when you fast. I recently just fasted, um, and it was a phenomenal experience. And some tips to help with you when you fast are going to your fast with some set goals. 
Right now we're talking about quitting marijuana. Okay, I want to quit marijuana. I'm going to, when I'm fasting, I'm going to go through the Bible and I'm going to read tons of scripture on pot. <coughs> uh, round two, dab. No pun intended again. Go through your fasting. Find verses and stuff in the Bible. Really study it. Start praying. You know, if you want to break your marijuana addiction, look up addiction verses in the Bible and then study that throughout, you know, a couple hours while you're fasting. And I would do 24-hour fast. I'm just going to give you guys a little encouragement. And this is going to be very, very blunt. So if you guys are, if you guys are, you know, smoking marijuana, just stop. Seriously. Grow a pair of balls and stop. You can't just go along being like, all right, I'm going to quit a little by little by little by little every week. That, that doesn't work, okay? I've done that so many times and that doesn't work. It may work for you, but for most people it doesn't work. So stop doing it. Smoke your last bowl and say, all right, I'm done forever. Not, not I'm done for a year, not I'm done for six months, I'm done forever. Because if you're not done forever, then you're going to get right back into it again. If you don't know your why, you're not, you're just going to get right back into it again. You know, if you're depressed right now, is, is what you're doing helping you get over your depression? No? Then do something different. Put your, put your pot down, put your pipe down, put your weed down, stop buying pot that you don't need, and do something productive with your life. Read your Bible, you know, play a video game, do something instead of smoking marijuana. Because you smoking is not helping you out. And there are thousands and thousands of people who smoke marijuana and are so depressed and wonder why am I depressed? Marijuana is supposed to be curing depression. But they don't realize that marijuana is the reason for their depression. Society doesn't want to talk about a marijuana addiction. They don't think it can be addictive. But just because you cannot see someone having this addiction doesn't mean it's not true. It's in your mind. Okay, and so when you're when you're you know messing with something like marijuana, you're you're battling your mind over your body and your heart. Your mind is what's causing you to smoke this marijuana. So tell yourself no. Put your foot down. Tell yourself no. Grow a pair and do it. There's no there's no if ands or buts about it. You can't have it halfway. You can't you know smoke a couple days a week than not. That's not gonna help you. And if it is going to help you, I'm sorry to say this, and you need to hear this, but you're not gonna be successful. If you want to be successful and you want to not smoke marijuana, then you need to quit. Not I'm gonna smoke one or two days a week. Not I'm gonna not you know I'm gonna smoke a couple days till I stop getting withdrawals or I'm gonna cut back. There's no cut back. Cut off. Stop. That's what you need to do. And so if this resonates with you, I hope that you're changed. I hope that you I hope that your mind is blown at the possibilities. I hope you message me. You know. A month later on Instagram say, listen, I've been, I've been marijuana clean forever now. I'm so glad I heard this video. I really needed to hear what you had to say. Because marijuana is not okay. Marijuana is not good for you. Marijuana is horrible for you. And I would never ever tell anybody to do marijuana under any circumstances. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment, and make sure to subscribe. Because subscriptions really help me. Ring the notification bell. Subscriptions allow you to get my videos on time, so I pray that you do it. But, and I am signing out.